In this video, you will learn how to add gradient effects to WordPress using the Embedded Code Backgrounds feature found in Beaver Builder. There are a number of ways to create gradient backgrounds. However, I want to share with you an easy way to incorporate them into WordPress with the help of this site. Go to cssgradient.io forward slash gradient dash backgrounds and you will find a number of pre-designed gradient backgrounds to choose from. Here you can copy the gradient background exactly how it appears, or if you prefer, you can further customize any of these to fit your needs. For example, we can adjust the degree of color, we can add a color, or we can change the colors altogether. In addition, we can drag the middle colors in order to see more or less. If you want to revert back to the original, simply click on the reset button in the upper right corner. Let's go ahead and copy this background and head over to my WordPress demo site to test it out. Let's go ahead and open up the Beaver Builder editor and I want to add the background gradient that we just copied to this row right here. Hover over the row and click on the gear icon to open up the row settings from the style tab. Go ahead and scroll down to the background section and in the type dropdown, we want to choose embedded code. Here we will paste in our background gradient code. Note that we will need to add a little bit of code to the beginning and end of our snippet to make it function properly. Next, let's click on the advanced tab, scroll down to the HTML element section, and in the class field, go ahead and add CSS-background here. There's our new background. I am going to clean this row up a bit so that it looks better with our new background. And once we finish up, be sure to click Save on your row settings, and then Done and Publish. I think that looks really good. If you saw our last video, I shared with you how to save code snippets. I think this is a great example of how I can use Assistant Pro to save this code snippet to my library. Note that on this demo site, I already have the Assistant plugin installed and activated, as you can see here by this pencil icon in the right corner. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this pencil icon to open up the Assistant plugin. Next, I want to click on Library and sign in to Assistant Pro. In this example, I am going to go ahead and add the code snippet to the dashboard here on my desktop. From my list of libraries, I'm going to choose code snippets. Next, I will click on the plus button and choose code. I'm going to give this code snippet a name and from the dropdown, choose CSS. And that's it. I have saved this in the Assistant Pro Cloud Library so that I don't have to go searching for it in the future. And when I'm ready to use it again, I can always access it from the Libraries app from the front end of my WordPress site, as long as I have the Assistant plugin installed. To keep watching, go ahead and click on the next video. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.